all right let's get started so here i've just opened up my vs code you can go ahead and open up your favorite uh, id so first of all let's create a new project okay so i'm just gonna come here in the command palette and then here we just need to search for new fresher project okay so i'm gonna start a new fighter project then click here and then right here i'm just gonna select the destination where i want to save it so i'm gonna select here and then let's give it a name so i'm gonna name it flutter gemini like that then let's click enter so let's just wait for our project to create right our project has been created we can close this and then close this and then also let's uh, test it so let's open up the emulator so here we have so this is our emulator so now let's just test this new project that we have created this is just a new Frata project, okay? So also as a prerequisite, you also need to install Flutter in your IDE, in your system, and then install it. That's when you can uh, create a new Flutter project, okay? So right now, we have just started a new project once again, and then named it as uh, Flutter Gemini. And then we have just opened up our new emulator, now to test it we just come here and then let's run it so we're just gonna just test this new project that we've just created right the application has started you can see that it's a new flutter project we can close that if we test it it's just work it's a demo project created by the google team so let's minimize this and then also minimize that and then here let's head over to pub.dev and then we can get our packages from here so the first one is going to be our google generative ai so what did i miss it's supposed to be like that so this one developed by google so we want to use this one so let's go to installation and then let's copy this go back to our application let's go here and then the pub.yaml file let's paste that here and then let's just get all the packages that we need and then we can continue from there so next one is uh, let's minimize and then uh, uh, let's uh, see let's search for another one so here let's search for flutter markdown okay flutter markdown widget package so this is the one that we want to get so let's just go on installation and then let's copy that go back to application and then paste that let's go back there and then get another package so the next one is going to be the hive okay flutter hive so because this is the package that we're going to use to save our data okay so yeah we need all of these maybe let's start with uuid this we are going to use it to generate our unique chat ids okay so let's go on installation then we copy that you just paste that so we're gonna do this really quickly we are also going to need the provider package this is going to be for our state management so we also going to need uh, path provider okay so this is going to be 
for reading our local storage where we are going to create our database paste that and then uh, the next one is going to be uh, oh let's get hive for our database so this one we are going to need this package so let's copy that come back here and then paste it so also after this one we are going to also need flutter hive okay which is a uh, hive flutter this one okay let's go on installation so let's copy that and then go back to our application and then paste that so here on this package if you go to the readme you can see that it's an extension of the of hive okay so what we're going to do is let's also open the link to the documentation so this one will keep it here because we're going to need it okay this uh, we're going to also be checking through this so let's go back here and then get another package so uh, another package that we want to use is uh, for loading let's use a spin kit okay and yeah, let's use flutter spin kit this one let's go to installation copy that and then paste it there so what else is remaining okay so now we need the image picker then also for this hive flutter this one if we minimize and then go to the to documentation okay so we need to put hive like that and then hive flutter and then also down here on the day of dependencies we need to put hive generator and build runner okay so these are the packages as well okay so let's copy this come back here and then we have to paste it here also then let's look for that so we go in installation and then we copy this you can see there in the documentation it, it says it goes under dev dependencies okay so let's go back and then here under dev dependencies let's paste it like that okay just make sure it's aligned to that so let's go back and then let's also get the build runner go back here then paste it search for it there we have it we go on installation we copy that come back here and then paste it so what else do we need okay now we need the, the image picker so let's go here and then say image picker let's get it so here's a readme of how to install it but before we do this let's go to installation let's get it come back to our application and then up here paste it and then let's go back on the readme and then you can see here for ios here it says that we need to put uh, add the following okay so we need to put this permission okay so what we're going to do is come back to the application under ios runner info.plist uh, so what we're going to do is simply to copy this and then we move this down there then we're going to paste that then here we go back here and then just copy this description okay so we go back to the application and then paste that here and then we need to put the reason 
where we are using the photo library okay so let's say this is required to access your uh, photos okay let's say photos okay so let's just copy this then paste it two more times here okay now we go back then get the next one okay so this is the camera usage so we come back here and then here let's put that so we're going to say this is required to access your camera and then we come back here so this one it's uh this one is, is going to be optional because here it says describe why your app needs to access microphone if you intend to record videos this is called privacy okay so let's just put it because later in the future we can access the microphone in our application we may want to be speaking to the chatbot instead of typing okay so this is to access your mic for voice inputs okay let's put it like that that's all we need to do for ios so we can go ahead and close that and save it the next we go back there and then we proceed you can see for android it says that uh, no configuration required okay after android uh, this version or higher okay so we don't need to do anything for android and then just like this we have configured and then put all our, all our packages that we need so i'm just gonna save this it's going to be control s on windows and on mac you can uh, press command s so let's wait for this to finish okay now we are getting the dependencies down here right now that we've got all the dependencies without errors we can close that and then also close that we can bring back our emulator then we can minimize that uh, ios folder then now we can get started so let's end this first video right here so this video was just about installing the packages and then in the next video we're going to start creating our home screen thank you guys and see you in the next video